this award is important to Acre Bio Marine uh, because it validates the investment the company has made into the infrastructure and to be able to bring these products to market. We've got substantial business partners and in order to stay up with their growth and the growth that we, growth we foresee for this category, the infrastructure is really important. And it really was our ability to respond to market needs in a timely manner that allowed us to achieve this award. There are a lot of good companies in this industry and as a relative newcomer to the dietary supplement space, to be recognized in this fashion among our peers is really quite an achievement. Um, we have got some very good partners and one in general that has experienced tremendous growth. They've had some demand challenges and really without the infrastructure that we had in place, I don't think any other company could have kept up with their growth demands. So to be recognized for that, to be able to successfully help a partner achieve their goals and objectives was really important for our company. Well, the way I came into the industry um, was through a friend and I've actually been in the industry since 1978. I started out as a 16-year-old kid running encapsulation equipment for uh, a dietary supplement company putting herbs and vitamins into capsules. And it's been a wonderful career over the last 30 plus years, I've seen a tremendous change in the industry, a lot of growing and maturing of companies, of product, of recognition, of quality standards, etc. And it's just been a great uh, transition to be part of and to be able to contribute in a meaningful way. Uh, we've got a great management team at Auker, and although as a company we're relatively young and new to the dietary supplement space, the company really is committed to doing things right. And being a good corporate steward within the industry, um, complying with the regulatory environment, the changing regulatory environment that we face, um, it, was, it was helpful for management to understand those regulatory environments here in the U.S., even though the company is not based here in this country. Um, and so I think what we're trying to do internally is to be good corporate citizens, contribute positively to the industry, lead by example, and um, overall you know, try to bring the category to a new level. We certainly owe a debt of gratitude to those in the Omega space that have worked for years to establish standards, uh, to establish identity, to, to grow the awareness and really create a very nice fertile environment for us to come into as an alternative and optional source for omega-3s. Uh, so we do have to tip our hat to the, the guys that really set the foundation and the parameters for this category. We're one of many successful companies here and want to continue to participate and contribute in a positive way. When Auker set up their krill fishery, um, sustainability was top of the list. It wasn't an afterthought. They knew that if, if they were going to exploit the potential of this biomass, they had to do it in a reasonable and sustainable way. So the infrastructure, the vessel, the crew, everything involved in this fishery is centered around sustainability. Partnerships and alliances with academia and NGOs was also part of that process to make sure we got it right. Even though krill is a very small portion of the omega category, it seems to receive a larger than normal share of attention when it comes to sustainability because of where it's harvested and the other predator uh, species relationship and interaction that goes on there. But I think what I've noticed in the last year or so being on board with Auker is that the issue of sustainability across the board for marine life has increased. It's not just a krill issue. You're seeing a lot more of that issue taking place now in other parts of marine um, activity. And really, um, the krill fishery is probably one of the best managed fisheries there is out there because it has been under the microscope for such a long time. And I think that uh, putting the emotion aside, people can look to the efforts that have been put into this, this particular fishery and I think there'll be a lot of good things that they could take away from it. Auker works very hard. We've devoted uh, time from our vessel for research at our cost 
and are encouraging other krill vessels to do the same thing, to try to better understand the biomass, to understand the ecosystem down there, to make sure we're managing it properly, that we're good stewards of this resource, uh, not only for human consumption, but for the predators and the prey that, that enjoy that area as well, and try to find a nice, happy balance.